that's why you got to know who you are and whose you are. Hallelujah. So, once again, don't lose sight of judgment. It's time for us to stop making excuses and live for God. Because a lot of times we, we're so caught up, like I said, in what the world has to offer. See, we're, we're going out to the clubs, we're going out to the parties, we're going out hanging with friends, and then when it's time to go to church, you can't get up. I got a problem with that. Because, see, that's when Paul arbiters are not in line. You got to know what to put first and what to put second and what to put last. See, you got to line your priorities up. Stop just doing things for the motion. But you need to know why you're going to church. You're not going to church because of grandmama. Yeah. You're going to purpose because of your destiny. If you want to interpret the, in, inherit it, the kingdom of God, you better get up. Yeah. Because I don't know about y'all, but every time my friends look for me, you in the church? I am. I am in the church. I love the church. Every time you see me, if, if, probably come, if Jesus come back tomorrow, he'll probably be picking me up in the church. Because that's, that's how serious I am about the church. But see, that's why you got to get on the same level. It takes time, yes, but how much time will it take you? See, you need to get it together. Because tomorrow is not promised. Tomorrow is not promised. Don't wait until another day. When it's too late. See, you need to go ahead and do it while you have the chance. The song says, while the blood is still running warm in my veins. So you don't need to wait until you see your friends go up. You need to be that example. Look at somebody and say example. Set the example. Let's not live up to the negative images of how people see our generation. Because a lot of times people look at the youth and... They just give little, some, I don't know how to put it, but they'll look at the youth and it's like, um, just put everybody in the same boat. Oh, they like to put everybody in the same boat, thinking that everybody is a thug, okay. everybody is this, okay. everybody is that. Yes. But it's time for us to break the curses. Okay. So you don't have to do what the world offers for you. That's right. Hallelujah. Let's stand up and be counted in our local churches Amen. by respecting our elders and leaders in our daily walk. Amen. Because sometimes what we do is get the big head. We don't want to listen to what grandmama and mama and dad has to say. See, I used to be the same way. And sometimes I still do it. It's like I don't want to hear a lot of the things, but I know it's the truth. At the end of the day, it's the truth, but I'll never tell them it's the truth. But it's the truth. So you need to listen to what your elders have to say. They've been here longer than we have. They, they're more experienced. They're more wiser. So you need to hear what your elders are saying to you. You need to tune your ears in. Stop listening to what your friends talk about because I'm pretty sure you can wait. We need to listen to what's important. Listen to something that's going to discern you and, and, and put, uh, purpose you, position you for purpose. That's what we need to do. Get our minds on what is going to move us forward, not move us back. Because sometimes our friends can have an impact on our lives. Our friends can come in and dictate how we do go about doing things. Our friends can come in and brainwash us, have us thinking that this is the way that God wanted it to be. This is how I need to do it. No, 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 no. God is saying, what have I positioned you for? What have I positioned you for? I'm almost finished. This last thing I'm going to talk about is going to hit a home run because I know sometimes a lot of us think that we don't have to do this. Well, come on. Last young people, if you work a job and get paid, uh -huh. All right now. if you work a job and get paid, right. whether it's washing the rims or somebody's tires, if you get paid to do the job, you need to pay your tires. Because see, a lot of times, uh, us not paying our tithes is what brings on problems. Yeah. See, when you pay your tithes, things will start happening. Things begin to multiply and double. That's when you can say, I got double for my trouble. Yeah. Because see, when you pay your tithes, it's a lot of things that a lot of times a lot of young people are praying about. But 
We're asking God, God, you don't hear me. God, why is it not happening right now? God, why? Why? We like to question God, but God is asking you, what is it that I'm asking of you to do that you're not doing? And that's paying our tithes because a lot of young people think that they don't have to pay tithes. Whether it's $5, you need to give your 10%. If you have a $100 bill, all God is asking for is just $10. You're getting the majority of the money. So you need to pay your tithes. Amen. Pay your tithes. Because that's something I hear a lot of you saying, well, I ain't got it. Mm. Well, I ain't got it. Mm. You don't have it. It was never yours in the beginning. Right. <laughs> it was never yours in the beginning. That's all right. Never yours. See, when you pay your tithes, you might think it might not be a lot of money in your pocket. Right. But look at somebody and say, God will. God will. He'll multiply. He'll multiply. Hallelujah. So pay your tithes. <laughs> Let's take responsibility for our actions and do what is right. Amen. Stop making excuses. We love to make these lame excuses about why we can't do something, why I can't do this, why, why, why. But if there are just a bunch of excuses, okay, it's okay. time to grow up and mature. See, when we get to heaven, God is not going to ask you, well, uh, Susie, why, why did you do this? Why did you do that? It's time for us to take responsibility. Amen. Look at somebody and say, take responsibility. Take responsibility. take responsibility because a lot of times we get off course and we think it's somebody else's responsibility. That's right. That's right. But it's time for you, 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 every you to take responsibility. See, you don't have to live up to what this world has to offer you. It's time to stop making excuses and live for what God is calling us to do. We don't have to go around with our heads hanging down because we don't serve a God that hangs low. We serve a God that sits high above and looks below. So you don't have to serve a Buddha God and look down and wonder where your meat are coming from. Wonder where your blessing is coming from. See, the God we serve, he sits high and he looks low. So I dare you to look towards the heels, which comes to your help. All of my help comes from the Lord. I don't know about you, but I feel all right. Hallelujah. I'm so glad that I was able to stop by and share a word. I'm so glad that I was able to come and share something with you. I hope you don't leave the place the same. But when you leave the place, there ought to be a change. Look at somebody and say, I am changed. I am changed. No longer bound. No more chains holding me. Hallelujah. Is that all right? I don't have to go around moping about what somebody else is doing. But all God is calling you to do is live up to the purpose. The purpose that I have predestined for your life. Look at somebody and say, I will. I will. I will go all the way. Yeah, naked I came into the world. And naked I shall leave. Hallelujah. I'm glad about it. We've been laying down for a night. But joy, joy.
Somebody bless the Lord. Somebody bless the Lord.